We begin with breaking news where a jury has convicted an 84 year old man for killing a prominent Brookside attorney. Good evening. I'm Haley Harrison and I'm Kelly Eckerman. David Youngerman has been found guilty of shooting and killing Tom Pickert in 2017. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener has been covering this trial since day one and Matt, you were in the courtroom when that verdict was read. Yeah, the courthouse is very quiet after the verdict came back just about five o'clock today. Now everybody's gone after that guilty verdict came back. Uh, here is the judge reading that verdict. As to count one, we the jury find the defendant, David Youngerman, guilty of murder in the first degree. Now, Youngerman heard that verdict today after nearly five years uh, after Tom Pickard was killed outside his Brookside home in 2017. This has been a fascinating case to follow. Prosecutors argue that Youngerman killed Pickard as revenge for a judgment that Pickard's client won against him. And they said today they're pleased with Pickard's sons and family being able to come back to the courthouse someday to see a permanent record of justice. Meanwhile, Daniel Ross, Youngerman's attorney, said they plan to appeal. Mr. Youngerman, any reaction? Any reaction to the verdict? We will file appropriate appellate papers. We think we have a great opportunity to have the appellate courts grant further relief for us. I was speaking of Tom's um, two young boys and maybe their children someday. And I was letting the jury know that um, their result here is a public and permanent record of what they, as the voice of this community, thought about this evidence in this case. And that as a result of that being such a public verdict, maybe someday, maybe those boys would work their way back to the Jackson County Courthouse and ask for an old file. And they'd thumb through that file and see the verdict, guilty of murder in the first degree, and know that somebody this community stood up for their dad. Just an incredible case to follow. This uh, jury actually was out just for a couple of hours and then they came back with that guilty verdict.